more problems with the excavator. So, in the same fault I was getting previously, where it turned on, it all lights up, glow plugs glowing, glow plugs go out, jack all. So I've checked the glow plug fuse, the 15 amp fuse in here, that's fine. I've checked the 50 amp fuse, that's fine. Oh, can't get that excavator going again. Dead when you come to turn the ignition. No, uh, not cranking like it's struggling with a dead battery. The lights come on, you hear the uh, glow plugs and the relay clicking and uh, then just dead. So I'm going to leave it for now. I need to get on and get some, uh, get some jobs done. Okay, so to get into the starter motor, you need to get into a panel. You can just see this bolt here. That's part of the, all the paneling. So this seat's got to come out. Take some of this air conduct out, and, um, and then you can get into it. And again. Even when you get in there, it's very poor access. But I need to get in there. We've got this starter motor issue. So I need to have a look and see if I can find out what's going wrong there. So removal of the seat is pretty easy. There are four cap head bolts, one, two, and then two at the back. You need to slide the seat forward and get those two at the back undone. All right, let's get that done. So welcome back, another day, the same problem, so I'm uh, here back back here again looking at the starter motor issue, now I've just spent a fair bit of time taking off the, the panel here and what I actually found as I took that panel off as you can see there, now before I got the camera on I've had my hands in here so the red wire with a connector on the end the white bit of wire that's sticking out the end, that should be you can see this, that should be connected onto to this wire. That's tying onto this connector. Um, what I've found is I've held it in place, turned the key on, and the thing starts up. So this is definitely the problem. How I didn't spot this Last time I had this out, I, I just don't know, um, but I'm really glad I found it now. So what I've done, I've been to the shops, got another connector, got a little bit of extra wire so that I've got a little bit of capacity to pull the wire outside of here and crimp it and then reconnect it without trying to work in that tiny space. But um, I'm pretty certain I've found this issue now. Absolute pig of a job again. Getting the bolt out from here, the one right down on the bottom there. Absolute nightmare. So I've also bought some some bolts as well that I can get to that aren't a, a Phillips head screw. I can actually get to them with a with a spanner because there's just no room to get a screwdriver in there. So let's uh, let's get the connectors done and see this see this starting off. So. So what I've done now, I've fitted a, like a spade connector onto the end of that wire. This is a, a new length of wire just to give me a little bit of, little bit of working room. So a spade connector on the end of that wire. Rejoined these together. And uh, fixed, fixed them together. And now we'll give this a test, see if it works. If it does, I'll get the... Uh, electrical tape just sort of tie tie this up out the way keep it neat and then uh, put all this lot back together and I'm pretty certain now I won't be having any more issues here so I'll, I'll permanently put everything back all right let's give it a test okay so the moment of truth oops that's the windscreen wiper turned on Okay, so you saw the lights come on, the glow plug go out. That's it. So, the long last, we've got this working. That's an easy fix once you, uh, once you can find out what the problem is. So what, what 
what happens on these is this wire is, is connected to your, to your key. So when you turn your ignition off, you get power coming through this wire. And uh, I did test that, that it was, there was no volts coming through it without the, uh, without the ignition on. Turn the ignition on, I got 12 volts coming through here. So the 12 volts come through, connects into to this connector. This is then energized, which allows the full 12 volts to flow through here. But basically, once this is energized, it allows it allows this to change state and allow electricity to flow through from this from this one, which is connected directly back to your battery. Once the current is flowing through this wire, your starter motor actually kicks into kicks into operation. So if you yeah if you don't get that click, it's a case of trying to find out what the uh, what the issue is with the with the starter wire. Okay, so I'll now start putting it all back together. Um, so just before I put the seat back in, just sort of show we've put the the aircon tubes back in there and the uh, the computer, the ECU. What I've done is I've actually mounted it just on that back wall. I used one of the bolts to clamp it in place. I used to have it underneath this seat plate, but um, it actually ends up bending the plate and the seat doesn't move very well. That is just slightly thicker than the gap underneath it. So I'll leave it there for now. I think it's fine. It's out of the way. It shouldn't get damaged. And we'll get the seat put back in. What I've also done, just put the front cover back on. Um, so I'm missing a few few bolts from down low, two of them down low. All the others are in, so I'll get some more bolts and uh, won't be long now and this will be back to operational again. So welcome back again. Another day, hopefully not the same issue. Here when uh, the stuff you saw yesterday, unfortunately the rain came down really hard and really quick. So we, uh, we ended up having to quickly pack up and didn't get to do a close out video. So what we've got now, as you can see, inside the excavator, everything's back in its rightful place. All the floor mats are back in, all cleaned. Jeez, first time it's looked as clean as this in a long time. panels behind the seat they're all back in and you can see there the uh, the ECU sort of pinned up against the backboard there so let's give this the test hallelujah all right so listen this is uh, this little fix-up job complete. Got the excavator back up and running. A wiring problem all sorted. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy now that we've got it all resolved. I'll be putting this to work and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some more little projects completed. Thanks for watching this little mini series of uh, Fix the Excavator. Yeah, tune in next time. Don't forget, if you like this, click like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to click subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching.